It was a confrontation between two teams heading in opposite directions. A Cronulla club weighed down by off-field frustration against a Newcastle side that had quietly crept up into fifth spot on the Telstra Premiership table. There was one vital ingredient missing at kickoff, though. And Hunter, we are cleared for kickoff. The only problem, ah, Chris Houston has one. There is no football. And the Sharks might have wished the play never got underway as they surrendered Paul Gallen to knee damage with the game just two minutes old. And as the inspirational captain hobbled back to the sheds, Dane Gagai loped across the strike. Now Boyd, here's Gagai with a fan, Dane Gagai! Gets an early four-pointer for the Knights! What a start for the home team! To Cronulla's great credit, they swiftly put their diabolical start behind them. Carney, long to Jonathan Wright, and Jonathan Wright goes through! Carney providing the service, right to finish, and the Sharks are up and running. Five minutes later, the Sharks received a small sign that their fortunes may have been changing for the better. Robson along the ground, it's a good kick, not cleaned up. Now it's planted by Jonathan Wright. It's going to be last tackle. I've got to try. Just make sure he doesn't touch it on the way through there. Referee Badger's positive opinion proved crucial because the men upstairs weren't given clear reason to overturn it. Not surprisingly, the locals weren't too thrilled with that verdict, but they channeled their anger in the right way to hit back shortly before the break. Gidley into a hole! Farlongo! Farlongo scores for Newcastle! They have the lead again! At two tries apiece... Kurt Gidley's three goals from as many attempts made the difference at the midway mark. And the spirited Sharkies needed less than four minutes of second half footy to square things up once more. Here's Fafita with one big fin. Now he heads across field, goes to Gordon, outside to Bo Ryan, and the Sharks go in again. With Gallon gone for the afternoon and possibly a couple of weeks, Cronulla looked to Luke Lewis, who came to the party by sending Michael Gordon on a thrilling gallop, which led to Todd Carney cashing in on the next tackle. Carney, holding it up, Todd Carney! Carney scores for the Sharks, and they lead for the first time! However, remaining there in the closing quarter was always going to represent a sizeable challenge, as the Nova Castrians posed plenty of questions. The offload, McKinnon. Here's Tyrone Roberts. Newcastle score. They will kick to level us up. Tyrone Roberts. Popping up at the right time again for Newcastle. Italy's conversion locked it up at 20-20, and the final stages became a field goal frenzy, with both teams taking plenty of pot shots. None of them could find the mark, and the NRL had its first golden point period of 2013, which proved to be priceless for the embattled black, white and blues. Robson to win it for the Sharks! The Knights have been beaten at home for the first time in 2013! That may well go down as one of the most stirring triumphs in Cronulla's history. Victory by 21-20, a day to remember. David Rollins, NRL.com